We are well into January. If you're finding it tough to stick to your New Year's resolutions, you could be standing in your own way. And we welcome to the program health and fitness expert, Di Manuel, to show us the do's and don'ts to help us make it our healthiest year ever. Thank you. That's a big achievement. What? The healthiest year yeah, ever. Well, I think it's very doable. But, okay. you know, it, like most of us Canadians, we tend to set really lofty resolutions and ones that don't fit with our already busy lifestyle. Right. So I want to tell people, forget resolutions. Why don't you pick one goal? And just one goal for 2017. And if, if that is as simple as just eating more whole, unprocessed foods, right. that's a good goal to achieve. Okay, so tell us about that goal and how specific do we make it? Well, it should be as specific as you need it, you know, because you know what works for you. Right. And you know how busy your lifestyle is. So why not figure out a solution that plugs into however busy you are? Right. And, you know, as we lead into that, I often tell people, you know, because they're often concerned about calories and calorie counting, and especially whole foods. Yeah. Because whole foods don't have a label on it. It's the advantage of this stuff, you know, it's, it's a good sign. If it doesn't have a label on it, chances are there's probably some pretty good stuff in there. Right. Um, so start looking at your food from a nutrient quality standpoint and think about what is your lifestyle and uh, ent entail yeah. and then fuel it so you can live a life of awesome. To tailor, to tailor that lifestyle. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people will be at home and they're thinking my resolution uh, is drop 20 pounds or sure. whatever that is. So where do we start? Well, where do you start? Well, let's start with protein. Okay. Okay, because most Canadians are on the lower end of the spectrum of the recommended 10 to 35 percent of your daily allowance. And if you start to eat a little bit more protein, you can see metabolism increase, mm -hmm. brain function increase, mm -hmm. also just overall well-being increase. And so I brought four different sources here of sing uh, uh, single whole food sources of protein. So you'll notice we have peanut butter here, seven servings. I noticed the <laughs> peanut butter. Weird. <laughs> Peanut butter is amazing. Weird, I didn't eat all that peanut butter during the break. But, it is amazing. I agree with you. But to get 26 grams of protein, good quality protein, you would need seven servings of peanut butter. Okay. You would need six servings of hummus, two and a half servings of black beans. That's a lot. Or 75 grams of lean cut steak. And there you that looks delicious. It is delicious. Yeah. You're so, speaking my language. Okay, so beef is a good choice, and it's, it's nutrient-packed. Nutrient-packed. B vitamins uh, as well as it just it's great for overall uh, metabolism and health as well so okay yeah, it's fantastic. okay so a good yeah. rule is to get nutrient-dense food yeah. forget about the labels forget yeah. about calorie counting sure that can make people feel anxious well it can but you start to really pay more attention to your food and I think that's really you know one of the third trends I really want to uh, encourage people to do is be more mindful with your eating mm -hmm. in particular when you start to eat your food think about your other senses and with my kids in particular, I always ask them, you know, about an hour to an hour and a half after they've eaten, how do you feel right now? Right. You know, and kids will tell you. And, if they're uh, full or not. Yeah, and we know this too. Yes. You know, if you're having that mid-afternoon dip and crash, well, what did you eat at lunch, you know? Right. So there might be some food choices that you want to improve on, and it's just being more mindful. And turn off the devices when you're eating. That's the other thing, being yeah. the mindful component and sitting in front of the TV maybe or yeah. being on your phone, not actually paying attention to what you're doing has a big impact. Absolutely. And, and listen, I know you're busy. Mm -hmm. I'm busy. We're Everybody's all busy. busy. Um, so we, we were talking before we went on air, you know, just ways to leverage your time more effectively. Yes. So I'm a lazy cook. I like to Did set... You, and <laughs> you cook this, though. I, yes. see, I see it. It's yes. the shining centerpiece. So beef oven roast. You throw it in a pan. Mm -hmm. You set it, you forget it. You come back once it's done, and you vary the time based on the weight. Yeah. Uh, and from that, you can get two to three more meals throughout the week. You know, and that's why I brought, you know, as a salad topper here, as grab-and-go tortillas. Yeah. You can leverage your time and plan ahead. Again, being mindful of what the week's going to entail and how busy your lifestyle is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like that, the leftovers, so that matters. And also keeping things simple because a lot of people do have kids. They're trying to get yeah. out the door. They're trying to keep active and healthy. Sure. So that's the way to do it. Absolutely. Do one thing and plan huh. for the week. Yeah, and if there was one last thing, and, and uh, you know, we talked about being overcomplicated, stressing out, and, yes. and being worried about our choices, look at your plates a little differently. And there's something called the healthy plate uh, perspective. What and does it look like? So let's take this plate. So look at your bowls, look at your plate, and I want you to be an artist. All right? Vegetables, fruits, dedicate half of it to that. All right? More color, the better. Yes. Because we're talking nutrient density, nutrient quality, good foods that fuel your body. Then add a, a whole grain, maybe a couscous, uh, maybe quinoa, maybe a whole grain roll. Mm -hmm. That's going to take up a quarter. Then the other quarter, you want to go with a lean protein, maybe a slice of salmon. We've thrown some of the steak from the beef oven roast. Yeah. But now you're starting to look at your food and balance it based on lifestyle choices. And as you start to feel better, right. 
you start to make better decisions. Yes. And that is more sustainable. And I think that's really the whole to wrap this all up, you know. You want to sustain a lifestyle forever. Right. Shouldn't be a start now, stop tomorrow, start again. Yeah. You know, figure something that really works. Totally. Then yeah. you're looking towards getting those results by getting the benefits, feeling better. Yes. And you're not frantically scrambling all the time, which we all tend to do. Great tips. Thank you so much for Thank this. Thank you, Jill. Okay, yeah. I'm ready to dig in. Uh, the peanut butter is mine. The beef is mine also. Andy, <laughs> you can have the beans. The beef? They're oh, available pretty... for the taking. The beef looks pretty big. I think we can split it, don't also, you think? The the hummus is all, you can have that. You can all share. Greed in this room right now. Looks outstanding over there.